Yeah, I think, you know, it says right here the title is, is head coach, head men's basketball coach. But I read a book in a couple, couple months ago, and it's called Dream Manager. And, and I really relish the role of being able to help these, these gentlemen, these fine young men that I'm blessed to work with every day, just achieve and accomplish their dreams. And, and to, to witness it, to be part of it, is something really, really special. And I'm just proud of this group, top to bottom. Um, Coach Hansen, you know, Coach of the Year for a reason. Omaha, they did a great job this year. Uh, and and that, that's what March is all about. A couple possessions here or there down the stretch. And, um, we had some guys make some big winning plays, and, and that's what it takes, too. And so just really proud. We've come a long way. We've had a slogan all year about embracing the journey. Uh, we've stayed the course and the good, the bad. And um, it feels really good to be on top right now. Questions for the student athletes? Uh, Mike Sauter, Omaha World Herald. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Jared, you hit that big three. Uh, after not scoring much tonight, um, when it left your hand, did you think it was going to go in? I mean, it felt good, but uh, I've been struggling <laughs> yeah. tonight. And um, but, I mean, I think Tyson was who made the pass. I mean, he made a good pass, and he's been repping in the gym. Any other questions for the student athletes, Tom? Uh, Tyson, Tom Savage with the Associated Press. Um, just curious about you bouncing back after you had uh, three or four, I think it was, uh, last night against Western Illinois. Just, just talk, do anything last night, think about things. Let's talk about your game tonight, your, your, the, the points you put up. Um, just stay, my, guy, my, my teammates found me in the right positions. And coach talked to me and said that, you know, just let the game come to you and, uh, you know, just be poised and everything will work out and just listen to his words and try to follow through. Uh, Vinny, your, your second half, you had a big second half. Uh, just did you do anything at halftime? Uh, anybody talk to you, thoughts at halftime that you came out and had that second half? Uh, my teammates did a good job of giving me confidence. Um, you know, things weren't going well in the first half for me, and they told me, keep being aggressive, keep being aggressive. It's going to fall when they need it. It's going to fall when we need it, and it did. And Vinny, more specifically on that, when you slapped the floor there, and really tried to get the crowd into it. What was going through your mind, and how much momentum do you think rolled with that? Uh, I don't know. I was just kind of in the competitive. I was pretty blacked out. I don't even remember doing that. To <laughs> you the floor? Yeah. When? <laughs> he slapped the floor when he was guarding me, so I slapped it back. <laughs> and Tyson, uh, for you to come out of the gates really hot and kind of spark a lot of the offense tonight, what were you feeling when those shots started to fall early on? Uh, just a little bit of confidence. Uh, you know, that's the biggest part of basketball, you know, having confidence in yourself. And like I said earlier, just my teammates just found me in the right spots and everything just uh, went the way it went and we got here. <laughs> and Jared, uh, it's Tom Savage with the AP. Um, just wondering about that 12 2 run to start the second half. They cut it to four and you called a timeout. I'm wondering if you remember that timeout, what was said, uh, if you did anything different. I think it was our kids that really, they talked about it at halftime. This is a really good, talented Omaha team, and we knew that they were going to make a push, and that push happened really early. And I think we talk about how much this group is growing. Um, the same exact situation happened at Denver, and we weren't mature enough, we weren't experienced enough at the time to handle that, and, we, and it just spiraled out of control. And in the biggest moment, we've gained experience. In our biggest moment, we were able to execute with poise and, and stay the course and, and not let that run affect us. Brian Sean, Midco Sports Network. Really, hey, Dave. <laughs> yeah, we talk a lot. Um, Dave, j just the way this ragtag bunch was put together and, and the rotations, I mean, it, it's been such a work in progress, and, and it, something clicked. What, what was it? What happened there? I think it's a, a bunch of guys clicked together, Brian. And, and um, you know, you, you start two and seven, and it tests you in a lot of ways. You get a couple key guys hurt for stretches. But they were never rattled. And, and the, the spirit that they came with every day to practice, it was really fun, just a pleasure for me to be around as a coach. Cause it, made it made it real easy. And um, I hate to single anybody out, but I mean, I think you see it with his smile and his energy. When, when Vinny Shahid walked on campus, 
things changed and, and um, it really brought some joy to, to a lot of situations, whether it's an early morning workout or a tough loss, you know, those, not that there's joy in that, but you can bounce back quicker. And um, I think guys rallied around that. We got some great internal leadership and just really proud. Dave, Taylor Mankel here, WDAY Sports. You mentioned it a little bit right there, but the emotions. You have some of the real emotional players sitting next to you to start off in Tyson and Vinny. How much do you think that plays into a late season run like this? Yeah, it's great. I, I think, you know, people, especially a guy like Tyson, man, I, I love that young man. He, he frustrates me. He tests me so much. Um, and you're, you're, I say this all the time, your greatest strength is your greatest weakness. And sometimes the emotions get the best of them. Sometimes his emotions are the best thing for him. And they were tonight, too. And I think that's just, you know, these are 18 to 22-year-old young men. And these are certainly very influential years of their lives. But you're not just going to flip and make them perfect overnight. And being, being able to be part of that process, to be part of that journey with them, is, is a really cool experience for me. All right, congratulations, David. Thanks for everything. Thank you.